The Moku, or District of Hana, ranges from Kanae to Kaupo and is one of the most isolated communities in Hawaii and has one of Hawaii's most preserved cultural environments. The people that live here continue to embody the values of traditional Hawaiian life. Of the many wahi kapu, or sacred sites in Hana, Kahanu Garden and Pi'ilani Hale Heao, located in the Ahupua'a or traditional land section of Honoma'ele, may be one of the most inspiring. Considered the largest single archaeological site in the Hawaiian Islands, Pi'ilani Hale's magnificent structure and history is unto itself very unique. The Heiau was constructed in three major phases and now reaches over 174 meters east to west and 89 meters north to south. The central terrace in the middle of the structure was predicted to come first, sometime around 1200 AD. Originally placed on a large lava platform, the entire Heiau as it is today is estimated to have taken over 120,000 man-hours to complete. Beginning with the arrival of James Cook in 1778, Hawaiian sites like these were often destroyed or abandoned. With Pi'ilani Hale, the condition in which it was hidden was a response to local residents witnessing the two Luakini Heiau in Hana being destroyed and built over in 1838. After over a century, Pi'ilani Hale was almost completely reclaimed by the rainforest. Then, in 1974, when members of the Kahanu Uaiva Matsuda Kumaeva family and Hana Ranch deeded the land to our nonprofit parent organization, the National Tropical Botanical Garden, part of the conditions of the deed is that Pi'ilani Hale would be fully restored. In 1999, after decades of hard work, the restoration project was complete. Today, we continue to embrace Kahanu Garden as a Hawaiian sense of place by focusing on the plants Polynesians brought carried throughout the Pacific, as well as Hawaii's endemic plants that grow nowhere else on Earth. The Kahanu Garden is home of the world's largest collection of breadfruit, or ulu. Administered by the Breadfruit Institute of the National Tropical Botanical Gardens, the mission of the Breadfruit Institute is to promote the conservation and use of breadfruit for food and reforestation. Kahanu Garden has more than 285 mature breadfruit trees, representing more than 120 different varieties from 34 Pacific Islands. The oldest trees are at least 75 years old. Breadfruit is a traditional food of the Pacific. A single breadfruit tree can feed a family of four for a year. Breadfruit is very nutritious, containing high quality protein, minerals such as iron and potassium, pro-vitamin A carotenoids and other vitamins, fiber, starch, and other nutrients. Bringing breadfruit to world markets requires conservation and propagation of this important collection. Cuttings taken from these breadfruit trees are sent to labs around the world for propagation. Once established, each little shoot grows into hundreds or thousands of breadfruit trees. Research at the University of British Columbia in Canada developed many methods to grow new shoots from the cuttings. New trees are grown in a clean environment so that the plants are free from any diseases and sent to countries around the world. By 2016, more than 80,000 breadfruit trees propagated from these trees in Kahanu Gardens were planted in 38 countries around the world. Breadfruit is poised to become a major new staple crop for worldwide food security. Breadfruit picked from our trees is peeled, sliced, and dried to produce gluten-free, highly nutritious breadfruit flour for world markets. New ways to eat breadfruit are being created by home cooks, chefs, hotels, restaurants, and food manufacturers, and breadfruit will soon be in every grocery store. With the rapidly changing climates, staple foods must be diverse and able to adapt to changing ecosystems. Breadfruit is uniquely suited for these changing agricultural paradigms. As a tropical tree, breadfruit cultivars have been selected to survive intense hurricanes, flooding, depleted and saline soils, tropical microbes, insects and other pathogens, and other environmental challenges. Sustainable agroforests of breadfruit trees provide food while also sequestering about 1.5 tons of carbon per year, stabilizing surface soil and reducing erosion and providing a habitat for local insects, birds, and small animals. Take the time to enjoy the other botanical collections at Gahanu Garden, such as bananas, coconut, sugarcane, and taro, that remind us of the vast diversity that exists within each food type we enjoy. If we embrace the diversity within food systems as well as ecosystems, we are investing in our ability to establish resiliency against climate change, invasive species, and many other issues that threaten this planet we love. <laughs>